Things really weren't going well on Sodor lately. All the trucks had been disappearing, and the trucks had not been seen for two months. Every single truck on Sodor was missing for a while. Each truck had been taken, and no one knew what was going on. One night at the sheds, the engines had decided to have a talk about it. This is crazy, said Percy. He, Bouncer has gone missing, and along with Jasper and, and, and Jackson, and along with Rick and Eddie. Yeah, this morning my coal train had gone missing. Rickety was a part of the train. No, wait, actually Fred was a part of it. He went missing too. And that's another concern, because Scruffy's gone missing along with my ballast train. Something bad happened for me as well, said James. What is it, James? said Hurricane. My train of fuel tankers had gone missing too. Also, my train... A bubble, some trucks had gone missing. And earlier this morning, I was taking some vans over to Vickers Town, but they had gone missing too. Yeah, especially since me and Bill were taking in chocolate around Sodor. I mean, Ben. And, and yes, that's right, said Ben. Our train had gone missing. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know where my trucks have gone either. I only kept my gold dust trucks with me because I am a gold engine after all. Yeah. Also, my train in the Flying Kipper was missing too. Yeah, especially since my train has gone missing too. I was pulling a goods train in red tarped trucks when they went missing too. I was pulling Blue Mountain Quarry cars. I was pulling empty cars. I was pulling full vans. Me and Bill were pulling chocolate trucks. I was pulling in some ballast cars. So was I. I was also pulling empty cars. I was pulling in stone cars. And I was pulling in probably empty cars too. And I must have been pulling in vans as well. We have to find in our trucks, said Gordon. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. Ah, Thomas, I'd like you to take some freight cars to the docks. And while you're out, can you try and see if you can find any clues as to where all the trucks have gone? E yes, sir, said Thomas. So the turntable turned towards Thomas, and he left the sheds to go find, to take his goods train to the docks. But he was very nervous. Thomas popped into the yard and backed up to his train. He started to speak to the trucks. Hey, trucks. Yes, said one of the cars. Did you know that most of your friends have gone missing lately? Um, yes, we have, said another truck. <sighs> this is getting bad. I hope Dominic hasn't been taken. Actually, I haven't been taken. I'm back here. Oh, good lord. I'm happy you're still here, Dominic. And Sir, and Sir Tom and Matt told me to take you guys to the docks. I'll take you, water truck, just in case if I need any water so I don't have to uh, stop and, and then you guys go missing. Right, said the water truck. <sighs> Let's just get going. And Thomas backed his train up to Dominic and get coupled up. Dominic was hooked up and Thomas left his freight train to the docks. After traveling almost an hour, Thomas was starting to get tired. Then, all of a sudden, he saw something he'd never seen before. Hmm, huh. this is weird. I've never seen these points before. Hey, Dominic, have you ever seen this track before? Tom and Dominic looked. No, I can't say I have, Thomas. We should check it out. So the points were changed, and Thomas and his train went down the line. I'm so scared, said one of the trucks. So am I, said the green truck. I hope nothing bad's down here, said the tanker. Me too, said Dominic. Thomas and the trucks were getting creeped out as they raced down the old line. Just then, Thomas approached an old mine shaft. Hmm, huh, I can't say I've seen this before. Let's go. And Thomas and the trucks slowly went into the mine. 
Oh, I'm not sure about this, said one of the dairy cars. Me neither, said the other. Me three, said Dominic. The tunnel was dark. Thomas was happy he had a bright lamp. Then they heard some voices. Hey guys, do you hear that? I do, said one of the trucks. Let's check it out. So Thomas and the trucks moved forward. Slowly. Then they came out the other side to the mine shaft. They were still inside, but it looked a little bit more lighter. Thomas then continued. This way, quickly, said the tanker. Thomas soon came to a switch. Let's go this way, he said, and they soon went down the line. As soon as Thomas and the trucks rounded their bend, they gasped at what lay before them. There were all the other trucks. Oh my gosh, my friends, you're here, said one of the dairy cars. Yes, we are here, said the van. Why have you guys been here? Who brought you here? The diesels brought us here, said at the fuel tanker. Why? said Thomas. So oh, steamies and so steamies can, can get scrapped, said one of the ballast cars. Cause if, if we were taken, then the steamies would have to be scrapped because they didn't do their jobs properly. Why would the diesels want to take you here? So they can hide us away until all steamies are scrapped. And we've been here over the past two months, said the other van. Wait a minute, did Scruffy? Oh yes, it's me, Thomas. I'm here too. Rickety? I'm here. Fred? Yes, I'm back here, said Fred. Huh. Wait, Bouncer? Oh yes, I'm over here, Thomas, said Bouncer. Huh. Wait a minute. It, um, Jasper? Oh yes, it's me, said the gold dust truck next to the chocolate truck. And Jackson, said Thomas to the blue ballast car. Yes, it's me, said Jackson. Man, I can't believe you've all been here over the past two months. Don't worry, we're gonna get you guys out of here. You are, said the van. But I thought you guys wouldn't want to help us, trucks, uh, since we've been so rude to you. Well, that we're not putting that life at risk, said Thomas. We'll help you guys out of here. I'll take Scruffy, Fred, and Rickety first, and then we'll come and get you guys tomorrow night. Right, said the ballast car. We'll see you on the other side, Scruffy, Fred, and Rickety. All right, said Rickety. Let's do this. It took a while for Thomas to put Scruffy, Fred, and Rickety at the back of his train. Thomas had shunted most of the car into the different sidings. As soon as Scruffy, Fred, and Rickety were coupled up, up they left. We'll see you on the other side, it Rickety. He, Scruffy, and Fred said at the ballast car. We will, said Scruffy. We'll see you guys soon. And Thomas left with his train, Scruffy, Fred, and Rickety, and Dominic. After Thomas delivered his goods, and then he, he raced back to the sheds. Come on, he said. Ed, Ed, wait till everyone sees you guys. Everyone's gonna be thrilled, said Rickety. I can just imagine it, said Fred. Almost there, said Thomas. Guys.